And your position here? I am the EHS manager. Oh, Rob Wild. Nice to meet you, Rob. Okay. Rob, Ron. Ron. Ron, nice to meet you, sir. So this is the plant, obviously. Once um, you both have read that slide, let me know and then we're going to kind of elaborate a little further on it. Okay. Good. So the big thing here to take away is the overhead doors. Yeah, don't go lock. through them. <laughs> And there's also a 10 foot you know, pedestrian zone on either side of the overhead doors. For the most part, they are marked out in paint, so you'll be able to identify where they are, with the exception of this one. This one paint's a little bit worn down. Here, um, there is a man door beside every overhead door, okay? Okay. As from CSR office, you guys signed in. Yeah, we've seen this. So, this is the site layout. So, this picture is uh, many years old. So this is actually one of the pictures I want to update. So, anyways, the muster point is located at uh, the Exit. yard gate there. So in case of evacuation, we can see it up to there. Okay. All PPE is required on the plant floor and in the yard, and I'll provide you guys with PPE. Uh, here at the signage, there is uh, a few safety zones downstairs as we're walking through the plant. I'll make you aware of. Okay. No cell phones. We don't allow cell phones on the plant floor or in the yard. Now you guys are visitors, you're more welcome to keep your cell phones on you. I just just turn them off? Just Yeah, I just ask that you don't take calls or send texts while we're walking across the floor or sure. in the yard, okay? AED is directly below us in front of maintenance. MSDS is the middle plant, and then there's first aid kits scattered throughout the various workstations downstairs. Also up here in the lunchroom and in the front office. Again, in case of evacuation, we proceed up to the muster point for a roll call. There is an electronic alarm on the interior and exterior of the building accompanied with strobe lights. See those lights flash, you hear that alarm sound, we just stop what we're doing and go up to the muster point roll call. Okay. Now, there's quite a few machines with various alarms downstairs on the floor, but the evacuation alarm is easily discernible from the rest. It's a high-pitched chirp, okay? okay? Combined spaces you won't be dealing with, lotto you won't be dealing with, Mobile equipment. So we use a 10 foot radius rule, so never proceed with 10 10 feet piece of mobile equipment. If you have to pass behind or beside a piece of mobile equipment, proper procedures for you to stop, make eye contact with the operator, and the operator is going to motion when it's safe for you to proceed. Okay? Never assume that they see you. All our inside floor clips have blue lights that project out 10 feet from the front end and the rear end, so it's easy to identify where that 10 foot barrier is. It also helps with blind spots. There's a pretty good blind spot as soon as we hit the plant floor here, down the stairs. Mm -hmm. They stage product inside for secondary process, and it's a high traffic area. So we just gotta be careful walking around that corner, okay? Again, MSDS is a middle plant. Any questions? Nope. Okay, nope. get you the sun log book. Uh, Alberta Aerial. Alberta So, company name, your name, and then just an initial under me.
where everything starts. Yes. Trucks will pull in here, they'll dump into the Grizzly. There's okay. a pit right there. Yeah. Sand goes up to the storage bins inside. We do store some on the ground as well, because we run 24 hours. And the pits are only open for business hours. Okay. And then those two aggregates at the end there. Yes. Uh, we ship in the black stuff which is from Vancouver. Volcanic rock for our lightweight blocks. Okay. And then the spray stuff at the other end is uh, utilized and we ship it in from Salt Lake City. Wow. That's a long way. All by train, right? Yeah. And then the ag gear gets up the aggregate in the wintertime. Okay. Yeah, Ron knows more about all this kind of stuff. He's, uh, he used to be doing lots. Uh, yeah, I, used to, I used to drive to my tails and work a lot of it. represents a different product for the machine. Yes. Sometimes two or three different products, depending on if you want smooth or slate. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 
Yes. Where is it labeled? Yes, you're going to get the inventory and take it out to the yard. Okay, and they're they're ready to be used. We don't have to sit and cure any more time or anything like that. No, well, so concrete really doesn't achieve 90% of its strength. It takes 28 days to, to achieve 90% of it. Oh, okay. But they're at spec after as soon as they come out. Okay. So they, they meet the minimum standard. Yes. Which is 15 MPA. Okay. That's the safety zone, so if you broke the safety curtain, you told that robot not to come this way, he yes. wants to come and pick up this stuff. Okay. Control center. Control room, yeah. So concrete, depending on what we're doing, yes, it's fed into the top via the conveyor belt or a flat skip. We'll deposit the concrete on the other side. It will meter into that box, which in a second here you'll see it come forward right yeah. there. Okay. It actually sucks the concrete down into the mold and the head comes down the back. It's a point of reference, it's about 120 decibels inside that roof. Oh, it's pretty okay. That's why you see any guys that are working around this procedure. Yeah. Or your mom. Yeah, yeah. So it's just it's pressing it, you know, compacting it. it it's not really pressing down. It's just using the weight. Yes. What's actually happening is the force is being not hit from the bottom. Yeah. Into the head. Okay. Because think about it. If you push down. Yeah. So you'll get your compaction from vibration, right? Yeah. So you're trying to vibrate the product. But if you push down with the head, you're going to uh, get in that vibration, right? Okay. So the head just kind of sits there with gravity. And then it's and then the, the motors, they're big motors. Servo motors? Yep. There's four of them underneath. And it basically pounds the Gym. block up into the head. Yeah, okay. And then in the very last, I don't know, five tenths of a second, it, it'll put pressure down just to seal up all the voids on the top of the block. Okay. This is a this is a drive stack wall that we're producing right now. Okay. For Home Depot. For Home Depot. Home okay. Depot's one. So yeah, those are your customers. Home, home Depot and uh, like Rona, Lowe's. Yes. Also dealers like Site One, which used to be Burko. Okay. Yeah. So you don't have there's no competition for you guys in our region then. You guys are the guys. I wouldn't say that. Oh, okay. okay. But you're the biggest player then? Or? Yeah. Uh, Old Castle or Expo Free is part of Old Castle. Yes. Which is part of the CRH family. Yep. Which is the largest building material supplier in the world. Okay. Lock up block here. QC area where they Stacked up, and yes. then instead of like a forklift on the other side, a big robot that picks up and puts it in the middle. You'll see it going here in a second. Okay.
section of the kill? No, just that. Just that one, okay. So, so now it will look, it will wait for this one to empty out, then it will go grab another one and fill the empty side. Okay, you'll see it after the second. Dry side right here, so he's inspecting the product. He'll measure it with a bead of water on it, make sure, yes.
least they'll have done manually in Egypt. Yeah. <laughs> we'll walk around this way. it back in and the cuber will destock it onto the splitter where it will split it. Pause it. Pause it. Yeah, so this is a bad piece obviously. Okay, yeah. But yeah. it gives it that exposed aggregate look. Yes, yes. This is a wall. Okay. Ah, okay. Okay. And then from here, the cuber will pick it up, put it back on the pallet and wrap it up and it's ready for custom. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this, this wall actually weighs down like that. And yeah, yes, I can see this now. And then you, yeah, then it offset. Yeah, offset. Yeah, make it a lot easier nowadays. And over here, they're making it look old. Exactly. So it gets put into a, a machine, it's a dump it into a drum. Block the couple against each other. Yep. Come down here. And they stack it up. Um, we also have the ability to make it automatic. We'll actually stack it up. But we can't run the bolt and keep the machine on. Race to support it? Yeah. 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 So um, we've, done, we've done different variations and they keep hitting it. So this is the next one. In there and <laughs> if they hit that, they'll get their <laughs> So you really make really big ones too, eh? Yes. Yeah, that's Gianna. Yeah, okay. So that's all, these are for all the retaining walls and, and everything that you're... Yeah, that is a retaining wall. Yeah. That's for big commercial property. That pizza that you saw being produced? Yes. Is for... It, it could be used... I can give you some brochures too um, once we're done. Okay. Um, it could be used for large walls as well. 
It's it's uh, engineered. Okay. And we also produce a smaller stock stone. That's more of a garden wall. Okay. Uh, boxes and stuff like that. Mm, yes. Okay. So when are you thinking of doing the aerial photography? Well, when on a nice day and uh, when you would like us in. Well, I, I like you in as soon as possible, really, because I just want some context. Uh, right now, we're sitting on a ton of inventory. Yes, it'll look great when you take that picture straight, yeah. you know, for everything down. It'll look, make your whole yard look great. Especially since I have that other that other video of yours. Yes. Where it showed us at probably one of our lowest yes. inventory levels. Excellent. It's a nice contrast, right? Okay, and we can do that. Um, we can take that footage mm -hmm. and kind of do a pre, you know, show before. I just did one for University District. Okay. Because we've been filmed there for five years. Mm -hmm. So we just put one together every year, you know, we've added. So when you're flying, you know, all of a sudden buildings are coming up and then so more and more, right? Okay. Because we've been there so many times. Yeah, yeah. But here, at least we have one, you know, we have one that uh, that can be used for sure. And then the yard here stretches all the way to the back of the property there. Yep. And then goes around the back side of the plant. Okay. Okay, so... Um, well, I looked at the weather. Yeah, okay. It's not looking really good until maybe next Tuesday. Okay. Is that going to be okay for you? That's that's fine. Okay. Yep. Um, we'll keep on. We'll keep you abreast of the day before all the time. Okay. Um, just to confirm 100% that we're going to be there. Now, as far as payment. Yes. Um, do you guys accept credit card? Yep. Okay. That that works so perfect. Um, otherwise, we'd have to do a PO, which then. Complicates the process because then I got to get you approved as a vendor. Credit card makes it easy. Sure, no problem. I can take credit card. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Any questions for me? Um, no. I'm gonna look around. You know, I mean, I look. Walk out this uh, way. You can walk around. I look at your websites and things a, a little bit, but it looks like no. No, you just say you want pictures. You don't want any video, because we we shoot video all the time, and then we take the pictures while the video is running. So you, 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 get, you can't have that too. See, could you see any value of having a video attached to our PowerPoint safety orientation? I do. I do. Because it's a really nice way to get a, a full footprint of the property on your first day to understand kind of where everything is. It's a, it's a different perspective than if you're just looking at a picture, you know. I mean, we'll, we'll be shooting it. It'll be nice to incorporate that video into, um, so we're, we're in the process of installing an electronic information board okay. in the lunchroom. That's okay. gonna display different company messages and, and upcoming things that are on the, on the calendar, holidays and safety meetings and stuff like that. Yes. And it'd be nice to loop that in as well. Yeah, to get them to keep and look at it and keep it in your sales office too, running, yes. you know, uh, in the loop there. You guys don't do trade shows or anything like that, do you? Yes, we do. We still do? Really? Okay. Yeah. Well, there you go. There's another another one. You get it and you loop it uh, and have it just running at trade show. Do that for just about everybody. Yeah. Uh, you know, if, we, if, if, if we're making the video, uh, you know, it would be a corporate video, but then we also make social media, so we'll take a... You know, if let's say if it's a three minute video at the end, we'll make a minute one, we'll make a 30 second one. Okay. Because you need those just to yep. Yep. get sure. onto the, onto, uh, for um, your Google ads or anything yep. like that. Yeah, exactly. Right? That'd be good to have on the information board in the lunchroom. Yeah. Because the guys, they're going to lose interest if they're sitting watching a video for five minutes. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, 30 seconds, you get the information into them and then. I know that's I know we because we have to make those all those those short ones, mm -hmm. but all of our footage, all of our footage videos, if you've seen any of the other ones for this area, they're hours long, okay. you know, because we're just flying through the area, we're just capturing everything. This is all for uh, for the county. Okay. And then the county allows you know because it's a it's a partnership on the footage, and so we can resell and uh, to you guys at a little extra cost, and you guys get something really cheap. Because the county basically paid for it. Okay. So that stuff that you've seen before. Yep. That's 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 you get that for less than fifty percent off. Okay. From previous.
Okay. Okay. All right, I'll make sure that's clear to senior manager. Or... Yeah, I'll, I'll write that all down. Okay. I'll write that all down. So I'm assuming this is your bike? Yep. What do you drive? I have three. Or ride. <laughs> I have three. I oh. have. RVT, 1000 RR, SP1. Uh, Honda. Honda. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's, <laughs> it's number 256 out of 500. Right. So the first 500 were hand built. One is 256. I will never be getting rid of that bike and then also ride a Harley. So. Oh, yeah. No, this one's actually quite comfortable. You know, it's the, the lowered foot pegs yep. And, yep. and stuff. Uh, yeah, I find it very comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, are, you guys, I'm your language we don't understand. Oh, I understand it. It's just not my thing. You get a bike on a bike, then yeah, you win. No, I know exactly everything that James is talking about. It's just, it's not my hobby. Murphy just got a bike. I heard she used to ride a lot when she was in Winnipeg. She was saying, "I'd like one, but it's like way down the list." <laughs> So as we're going coming across, we're taking individual pictures. Also, every every little thing. So this is like all of a, like a shipping and receiving area here. Yeah. Uh, this is no. This is uh, actually the Perfect. sales tent. Oh, I sales tent. No, I sales tent. Okay. Like Jim's tent. Yes. I claim no responsibility on this tent. <laughs> <laughs> this is the guy you got to talk to. Technically. <laughs> oh, okay, excellent. Do you deal with that? You obviously the big developers are coming to them. Uh, well, to Jim, yeah. specifically. Yes, specifically for yeah. Jim. Yes. Yeah. So yeah, okay. we deal with a lot of commercial projects. Okay. University District was a large project of ours. Really? Okay. Right. Well, we got all that filmed. We film. At least once or twice a year for them okay. there, um, and we did the ortho mm -hmm. uh, there too. So that's the kind of a sample I brought was uh, no of uh, university research park. Mm -hmm. So the, their new one, mm -hmm. uh, it's called uh, the Innovation Quarter. Okay, is, is the new name for that. So they're just starting to. Look at space mm -hmm. and deciding where they can put other buildings in and Pretty how they're going to yeah. do all yeah. that kind of stuff, yeah. right? Well, half the buildings up there are empty. Yeah. yeah. Any other questions? Uh, no, no. I'll just uh, I'll come up with a uh, just a shoot list for us. You know, um, I, I redo your quote. I'll add in the, uh, the down and the video. Yeah. That's all. Um, and we'll take r lots and lots of pictures. Okay, we'll so before, like you said, you can inlay our, our points of interest, so like the mustard point and... Oh yes, yes, I, like I'm going to show... I want to talk to her because I actually want to relocate that mustard point to this gate. Okay. But I want to make sure it's okay with her first. Okay. Um, so... And then we, we can put that on there. Oh, we can discuss that. You know. Sure. Yeah, because you know, let's say we're doing a pit. Uh, the, the pits, they they just want the number of the each stack, right? Right. So they have it. They put it in where the truckers come in. Yeah. And they say, okay, you got to go and pick up from pit or uh, from stack number one and eight or whatever. That is know? actually my next year's plan is to have the, the yard broken up into zones. Okay. So yeah, that's something that we can explore next year for sure. Yeah, and and we can we can even do a little sample for okay. you uh, what we got here too okay. you know because we're just adding a few words right you know yep. to an image so it's just that you know that image is 900 images put into one so i assume you'll be able to zoom in okay and you'll be able to look at these piles very closely it'll be way better than google yes way way better and you just press the, uh there's a file you press it 
it'll automatically go into Google. It'll override the Google that's here. Mm -hmm. You put your the new your new one that we do mm -hmm. right on it. Anybody could anybody that you want to see that, you just send them the link. Nice. Okay. So so then you have uh, an updated Google image, high res image of you know because so the next time they fly by and do anything in the area. Okay. This could be the next six months. This could be a year from now. Yep. yep. Uh, before they come back. Yeah. So we do a lot of that for the developers because they got to have the, the most recent uh, image of the site. Okay. Yeah, when you're flying around, you know, it doesn't look so big. Mm -hmm. It's pretty huge down here. Yeah, yeah. Thank I mean, you. It's all perspective, right? Yeah. So would you like me to show you one of the images or sure. you to, okay. 